Jeju. Good evening, guys. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello, Walter. How are you? I am fine, teacher. And you? Ah, just fine, just fine. You know, here, same old story as usual. Working and working. What about you? How was your day? No le escucho, no le escucho. What about you? How was your day? Oh, good teacher. Uh, I work. It's very good. Okay. You had a good day. Uh, yes. Excellent, excellent. That's awesome. And tell me, what time did you get home today? Um, 5 p.m. Oh, that's early. Yes. That's actually nice that you were able to be home. Me queda como a, el trabajo me queda como a 10 minutos, 10 minutos. Oh, that's nice. Ten minutes. Yes. I live in Rosario La Paz. Oh, really? Yes. Rosario La Paz. I know that place. La conoce por acá. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I went there like, ooh. Like, uh, actually, the first, the last time I went there was like uh, four months ago. I was visiting a friend. It's far from here. It's far from where I live. Está lejos de donde yo vivo. Yeah, yeah, it's a little bit far, but I mean, it's cool. It's cool. It's a nice place. Beautiful town. Last time I went, they were fixing some roads. El tema es que fue, estaban arreglando unas calles. Sí, ahorita está también. By the market, I remember. Market. Yeah, but estaban arreglando una calle por el mercado. Ah, ya, ya está lista ya. Oh, ya really? Yes. Yeah. Well, that's nice. It's a little bit hot, right? Un poquito cálido. Sí, aquí, aquí es algo cálido. Todo el tiempo, sí. All the time, Solo but what can we do, no. right? ¿Qué le vamos a hacer, no? ¿Qué le vamos a hacer? Así es la vida. <laughs> yeah, but in the end, I mean, you get used to it. Al final uno se acostumbra. Sí, yeah. Pero este, es, es, este año está bien particular porque nunca había estado así de caliente. Well, yeah, yeah. Actually, they are explaining that, that it's been terrible. Yes, exactly, exactly. No, here, here where I live is hot. Acá donde yo vivo is also hot. I mean, it's, it's not fresh. But, I mean, Serio, caliente por ahí. yeah, a little bit, not as hot as where you live, not tanto como donde ustedes, but it's a little bit. Yeah, because sí, sí. over there. Aquí, in... está, aquí estamos cerca del infierno. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a different, very different situation over there, right? 
Aquí tengo que dormir con ventilador, ¿cierto? I can imagine. ¿Cierto? Toda la, toda la noche. Recuesto y amanezco con ventilador. Yeah, I can imagine, I can imagine. It must be a little bit hard, right? Debe ser bastante cálido. Sí, bastante. Well, but, I mean, nothing in your home, resting, that's nice. Welcome to the class, Mr. Nice having you here. Thank you, sir. Thanks to you. Okay, let's see. Robert Beltran, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, mister? <laughs> Um, honestly, I, I have gotten tired. I have felt a little bit, uh, it's the same tired after the, after the same routine that we have daily. I can imagine. But, I mean, it's the way it goes. And, and right after a vacation, we end up like that, right? Yeah. As soon as the vacation finishes, we go back to work. I mean, the first two, three days feel hard. No one wants want to go work again. Yeah, I mean, we are comfortable at home. We are yeah, like, sleeping. Uh, yeah. Only having food, like getting fat. Yeah. In my case, I am a super thin boy by some bones here. I think they get fat so easily. But in my case, I have a lot of food, but I can I can get fat. Okay, okay, okay. And yeah, I I know I was sleeping on the hammock back. I don't for I don't forget to keep studying. That's that's super important for me. Okay. I okay. enjoy it. Yeah, you can say, yeah. I'm sorry to interrupt you. You can say it like this. I can gain on weight. Okay, no I can gain no weight. No problem. I can gain on weight. Gain Okay, I don't understand that new expression. That expression means uh, no puedo aumentar de peso. Okay. Yes. Okay, that's, that's good. I can gain on weight. Yep. Yeah, I, my weight is um, uh, 72 kil kilograms. I don't know how can I say that word. Kilos. I'm 72 kilos and I'm a super thin, but I feel comfortable. I honestly, I, I, I cannot imagine me if turn to turn to fat. Yeah, you know, uh, actually, let's see, I am like, uh, I am like 70, let's see, no, like 70 kilos too, but 70 how kilos. Old, yeah, how old are you, mister? I am 29 years old. Okay, when I was your age, I was waiting 120. 35 pounds, no, 130. Okay. I mean, actually, I am getting on weight right now. Mm. For me, it's the because... same as you. It's hard to, to gain on weight. I mean, it's, uh, it's difficult. 
Madhu, I, I think I think you are you want to get muscles. Yeah, that's why I eat like four or five times a day. Yeah. Uh, what's your what's your height? One seventy two. Okay. Uh, okay, you are more you are more um uh, taller or shorter? Loader. I want to say loader. Shorter. Shorter. See, you are more shorter. My weight, my height is one seventy eight. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you are taller. It's not a lot difference, I think. Well, yeah, it is. It shows. Yes, I know that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. but I mean, it's uh, your metabolism is like that. I mean, it, it's the way of your bodies. That's the way it is. Uh, Super fast. Yeah, you got a fast metabolism. I mean, you eat, it goes through. Yeah, sometimes I I I I have felt a little uh, depressed because I wanted to get more more muscles. And you know, I was I was I was lifting weight, uh, but it's super hard for me to get more weight. Well, it's I mean, actually lifting weight has helped me, but you need to lift weight and and you need to eat more, but also what you eat. I mean, you got to get mm. a lot of protein and I mean, uh, you got to eat a lot of eggs and chicken breast. That helps a lot. I I ate a lot of proteins. Even I got one... Uh, one powder yeah of proteins and i i was having a lot of uh, beef i had a lot of chicken and i i i can see the difference but it's just a little bit yeah i only it, it i only gain i only gain for about 10 pounds up. Well, that's a lot actually. Than the usual because I I was I was waiting like 185. It's not it's not a lot, but was yeah, just but, a little bit. Yeah, but that's the way it goes, as it toca slowly. Yeah. And sometimes I feel super happy because i have a lot of food and my sisters tell tell me hey you have a lot of food and you always keep super thin yeah you are the lucky one <laughs> yeah i have i am the lucky boy i don't know well yeah i can understand it <laughs> hey robert <laughs> nice talking to you welcome it was a pleasure it was a pleasure Let's see, guys. Let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Brenda. Hello, Brenda. How are you? Hello, teacher. Hello, I'm Hello, teacher. 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 Hoy trabajé mucho, quizás me hizo daño. Ok, ok, don't worry, relax. We will talk later, ok? Ok, teacher. Thank you, thank you for being here. Sandra Alvarado, hello, good evening. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. How was your day? Uh, today was a good day. Today was a good day? Okay. What time did you get home? Uh, six. Arrow. At six? Yes. Okay. So you had dinner already? Uh, yes, I had dinner. Uh, pancake. 
Pancakes for dinner? Okay. Yes. That's like different. Okay, okay. Do you drink coffee with your dinner? No. No coffee? No, no. That's unacceptable. Coffee is always water. good for dinner. Water, water. Okay, well, that's something. Yes, I'll go. Okay, okay, okay. What time do you usually go to sleep, Sandra? Sorry? What time do you usually go to sleep? What time do you usually go to sleep? Si quieras me duermo, me está preguntando. Yes, exactly. And you answer to me, I usually go to sleep. Usualmente. I usually. I usually. Go to sleep. Go to sleep at uh, 10. Oh, 10, very early. Well, that's early for me. I usually go to sleep around 11 or midnight. Oh, I, I start, I study. Oh, really? That's cool. That's excellent, actually. Yes. Okay, okay. Well, welcome to the class, Sandra. Thank you, teacher. Thanks to you. Okay, let's see. Roberto Guzman, how are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, mister. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm okay. a bit, uh, a yeah. bit uh, tired, but in general, it's okay. Okay. It's was good. I a, hard, say, a hard day at work. Uh, so, so. <laughs> and that happens. That happens. Okay, yeah. okay. What time did you get home today? Ah, I don't have time. Uh, something I get to to just leave at ten thirty, p.m. or the most, más noche, lo más tarde. The latest. At the latest at eleven. Okay. 11. And and at what time did you get home today? Today. Yeah. What um, time did you I, get uh, home? A qué hora llego a casa? Uh, I arrived at home at five thirty p.m. Five thirty. Hmm. Yes. Five thirty. That's early. Did you have dinner already? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, what was there for dinner? Tell me. Then for dinner, uh, chicken and with salsa tomato. I'm sorry? Chicken with salsa tomato. Oh, that's cool. Tomato sauce. Yeah. Chicken with tomato sauce. Okay, what's your favorite part of the chicken? Uh, my favorite part, my favorite part of the chicken is a uh, uh, quarter or three pierna. Okay, it. yeah. Yes, and wings. Oh, oh, check. Okay, excellent, excellent. Breast. The legs, the legs don't like. I ate. Oh, really? I ate it. Yes. Okay, okay. Well, but Mr. I welcome. Yes, general. tell me. But I can, I can eat yeah, any part. Any but part? So if it's chicken, you are in. Yes, but preference, um, the pierna pechuga. Okay, chicken breast, chicken breast. Okay, excellent, excellent, cool. 
Well, mister, welcome to the class. Thank you. Jose Edwin, hello, how are you? Hello. Good evening, how are you, mister? I'm fine. Okay, and tell me, how was your day? Um, uh, she's uh, calm down. A normal day? Uh, it's, um, it's, uh, south the, the world. Uh, was a day, uh, south. Okay, that's cool. I have not many words. That's nice. So glad to hear it. <laughs> I pass a uh, uh, rest uh, mm, part of day. Okay. I spent. I spent. When we talk oh. about time, we say I spent. I spent. Yeah, we spent time and we spent money. Okay. In past is spent. So I spent part of the day resting. That's cool. I mean, you had the chance. That's cool. Tuvo la oportunidad. Hay que aprovecharla. Because yes. sometimes we don't have a chance to do nothing. It's not to every day. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, that's not common happens. Okay, well, mister, welcome to the class. Nice having you here. Fisher. Yes, tell me. I have a question. Sure. Uh, how we uh, difference when you is for a person or you is for a uh, a lot persons it's oh. not on the subject it's in the verb i and it's in the complement i mean oh you, uh, you jose you jose just one person mm -hmm. i'm talking to you hey guys oh. do you know when i say hey guys i'm referring to the group you know so I'm saying ustedes. Okay. It's in the complement that you find the difference. Like, you are my student, singular. You are my students, plural. Okay? Uh, okay. Uh, so, so. <laughs> lo que uh, pasa es que usted lo va a encontrar, la diferencia en el, en el complemento. Ahí es donde usted va a encontrar el singular o el plural. You are uh -huh. my student. Uh, Usted es mi estudiante. You are my students. Ustedes son mis estudiantes. Ah, ok. Es que en el, en el módulo anterior, la teacher anterior nos preguntaba cómo nos llamábamos y cómo nos gustaría que nos llamaran. Pero, o sea, me, eh, digamos, estoy hablando con usted y me pregunta lo mismo. Y yo digo, you can, eh, you you can, can call, call me, you can call me eh, Franco. ¿Cómo sabía que era usted o ustedes? Todo, todo el grupo. Ahí era, tenía esa confusión. Yeah, it's, I mean, here you are talking to the whole group. You can say, hey, I can tell you, uh, well, welcome to the class. My name is Douglas Arevalo, but you can call me Douglas. That's for everyone, right? Oh. Because I'm introducing oh, okay. myself to the whole class. But now oh. I'm talking just to you. Like, uh, hi, my name is Douglas. What's your My name is Douglas Arevalo. What's your name, mister? And you tell me, oh, oh my, my name is Jose Edwin, right? And I tell you, oh, you can oh. call me Douglas. So I'm talking just to you. It's context. It's the context, the one that is going to tell you. Es el contexto el que se lo dice. Okay. Quería declarar, o sea, como, así como dijo, de decir, hey, chicos, yeah, sometimes. Hey guys, you yeah. can call me Franco. Yep, that way oh. you are talking to everyone here. Oh, okay, thank you, teacher. Thanks to you. Okay, guys, let me get the attendance. Let's see, Ana Consuelo Amaya Merino. Present, teacher. Ana Maria Rivas Duran. Present, teacher. Brenda Angélica Díaz de Chacón. 
Karen Beatriz Castillo Sencente. Present. David Armando Romero Hernández. Present. Fátima Laura Mejía Meléndez. Present. Fátima Lisset Pineda Paniagua. Gabriela Margarita Vázquez Lemos. Present. Guillermo Josué Osorio Ventura. Jaime Enrique Flores Sánchez. Present teacher. Thank you. José Edwin Valle Franco. Present. José Roberto Ramírez Beltrán. Thank you. Karen Patricia Ramírez Pérez. Carla Beatriz García de la O. Present teacher. Catherine Guadalupe García Chachagua. Present. Mónica Liliana Ocotán Barahona. Present. Nelson Stanley Cardona Hernández. Roberto Antonio Guzmán Rodríguez. Present. Roxana Elizabeth Ramírez Lima. Present, teacher. Ruth Margot Benítez Díaz. Present. Sandra Chamilet Alvarado Aguilar. Present, teacher. Sonia Guadalupe Santa María Cabrera. Present, teacher. Víctor Alberto Trujillo Cruz. Walter Manuel Reyes Campos. Present teacher. Xiomara Elizabeth Ramos Escobar. Ok, guys. Thank you. Present teacher. Thank you, Xiomara. David, hello. How are you, mister? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Um, um, I'm good and bad. Good and bad. Why? How come? Yes. And the bad and the, the finished vacation. Um, and the yesterday, um, I read the, my home in the, my son, I read the school, the last, um, tell me, man, and the, the problem in the car, tell me there, um, and the car not start. Ooh. Oh, yeah. It was the problem. Uh, no, no, no starting the uh, manager, the nation. Imagine the, the battery. Well, lucky you. I got the, yes. the, the I got the wiring. Yo tengo la bobina mala. Uh gotta spend time and, the, and my problem is that i don't have time to go get it so i'm without the car right now yeah, yeah. but and it's expensive is the problem is in the time porque i yeah. have no the take the 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 battery the and change. yeah uh-huh yeah, you are the and same the, as no, me. No time to go get it. And the, I know work on the on the Sunday, pero the Sunday no no work electric. Yeah, that's a problem. That's a problem. Yeah, it's a big problem. I'm the same. I mean, my problem is that I work every single day. So, and uh, and. And I need just to check one little thing. I'm just missing checking one little thing, but most probably is that. Lo más probable es que sea eso. I mean, but I haven't found my tester, you know? I've been looking for it. I don't know where I left it. No sé dónde lo he dejado. Mm, and I need the tester to be checking some stuff. But eh, cars are like that, David. You know that. When we have a car, we uh, we always get into trouble. But it's I mean, a, what can we do? Yeah, tell me about it. I mean, the thing is this: in my house there are two cars, and I have to be checking everything on two cars. So, uh, it's a headache. And I have hey, to and I have to check also help my my father-in-law with his car also oh your, your father my father-in-law he's got a car he's got a pickup but i mean he doesn't understand nothing 
of mechanics. Okay? <laughs> um, so whatever happens, he comes to me. And uh, uh, sometimes the, my problem is time. It's like, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like, uh, you know, I got a neighbor that after I finish the class, I'm going to go help him with something else. Uh, in his case, I'm going to, I'm going to check his, his pumping machine, but water, water pump. Because I'm also an electrician, so I'm going to, and I actually like, uh, like two years ago, I installed that pump. So I need to check it out because it's not working properly. And I don't have time. So oh, like I'm, al I'm always busy. It's the, it's the moment that the mechanic. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. I mean, I work little things about a little bit of some things. Well, David, nice ah, talking to you. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Jaime Enrique. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Come on, man. You go like, I'm fine. Like that's Yeah. That's like, you're like, oh, yeah. I'm cool. <laughs> yeah. That's nice. Acabo de, acabo de cenar. Okay, 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 okay. No, 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 no. I just had dinner. I just had dinner and I eat, um, I am, eat a lot. Oh, really? Mucho. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. That's actually good. Yeah. That's actually good. What was there for dinner? Um, soup, beans, soup. Okay, beans, soup. Bean soup and rice, fried rice. Fried rice. Fried rice and Three tortillas tostadas. Oh, toasted tortillas. Toaster, toaster tortillas. And uh, a big glass lemonade. Lemonade, my gosh, yeah. <laughs> I Now I understand it. Uh, yeah. You know what? Robert, Robert Beltran says, ah, that's nothing. That's, yeah. just, the, just, that's just warm up. Para Robert dice que eso es un calentamiento. Oh, sí, me imagino. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so cool. And tell me, what time did you get home today? Uh, today, um, I arrived at, at 6 a.m. p.m., excuse me. Oh, really? Yeah, today I arrived... Very late. Uh, usually, uh, I arrive uh, at seven thirty, seven forty, uh, maximum. Max. Okay. Yeah. Today, congestionamiento. Había congestionamiento. Okay. 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 There was, because it's past, there was a traffic jam. There was a traffic jam. There was a traffic jam. Yeah, that's yeah. congestionamiento. In uh, Claudia Lars. Oh, really? In, in pas, Paso oh, yeah, Desnivel. They, yeah, they are fixing that thing, right? Están trabajando eso. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it gets crazy. In the other extreme, in the other extreme, uh, uh, the calle hacia Sonsonate. Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah. I passed by there the other day on Sunday. Yo pasé ahí el yeah. Day. Yeah. Man. And it's a long, 
it's a long yeah. a long uh, uh, part of the road that they are working on yes bastante largo in, in approx uh, 1 kilometer kilometer yeah es un aproximado de un kilómetro lo que están trabajando. Mm -hmm. And that's a lot. And usually I drive um six eh, five thirty or five forty. Okay. Uh, usually five thirty, five forty. That's okay. Yeah. No, but the good thing is that you have the chance to have dinner and stuff. That's yeah, yeah. That's and that's cool. So you can be like relaxed after the class finish. You can go to sleep like calm. Um, the rain. Uh huh. Um. Con, con, eh, back with me. Corría okay. para mí. Me venía persiguiendo. Oh, was chasing me. <laughs> yeah. Me dio chance un minuto llegar a la casa y cuando llegué uh, cerré la puerta y se vino con todo. Well, you were lucky. Yeah. <laughs> Corrí. <laughs> the rain was chasing me. Chasing me. Yeah. And, and now ya, uh, is uh, calm. Total calm. Okay, is it fresher? Está más fresco. Eh, no. Same stuff. Eh, same stuff. Eh, como que se alborota más el calor. Yeah. Here in my house, I mean, it got dark, so very dark and windy and stuff. And it <laughs> rained like 30 seconds. Oof. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, and that was it. Yo fue todo. 30 seconds and that was it. I'm like, oh, whatever. <laughs> Llueve en las partes donde somos más, más, más buenos. Somos mejores, dice. <laughs> yeah. Man, here, I just see the storms passing by. Yo solo las veo pasar. <laughs> yeah. yeah like, the... like five kilometers down from here, it rains a lot. Unos cinco yeah. kilómetros más abajo, llueve. And uh, rains. Strong. Son son mal portados entonces por ahí. Yeah, but I don't know. People say that it's because we are very close to the lake. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's what people say. I don't know. Well, yeah. Hey, nice talking to you. Okay, thank you, teacher. Hey guys, well, welcome all of you. I'm sorry that I ha I won't have today the time to talk to all of you, but we have a couple of topics to cover. And today we are starting actually the last unit unit number four unit number four it's a very interesting topic it's uh travel plans we're going to be talking about requesting information asking information about travel services accommodations everything related to a business trip remember this is english for work so everything is related to a business trip but we are going to be talking about like uh, uh, like all the amenities that you can find in a hotel, like services, like uh, services, amenities, uh, two different things. When you talk about services, it's like uh, you are in a hotel, you ask for a wake up call, okay? a wake up call so you call it in the night and you ask like hey can you wake me up at 4 a.m and at 4 a.m they they call you they ring to you and they say oh this is your wake up call and you got depending on the hotel you got a business center you can ask for laundry okay that depends on the level of the hotel when we talk about amenities the amenities is different. The amenities is like uh, parts of the hotel that are like available for the people, like uh, a gym, a mini bar, uh, a pool, a swimming pool, uh, a spa, 
Those are amenities. I don't know how to say that in Spanish. To be honest with you guys. But those are amenities. When you are talking about the, the gym, the pool, the jacuzzi, the spa. Okay. Those are amenities. But uh, we are going to start with a conversation. Okay. Let me get everything set up and ready. Okay, it's a very interesting conversation. I need you just to listen right now. Just listen to me. Mark's Travel Agency. How can I help you? Good morning. I need a reservation for a single room. I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14th. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I'm Rosa Puentes. Thank you, Miss Puentes. How long are you going to stay? I'm going to stay three days. Are you going to stay in a smoking or non-smoking room? Non-smoking, please. Are you going to need the shuttle service? Yes, please. Okay. Now let me share with you. We are in the conversation in page number 39. Page 39, exercise two. Listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. A phone call to a travel agency. And the phone call goes as follows. Give me a second. I just need to get the, the recording for you guys that I always send. Mark's Travel Agency. How can I help you? Good morning. I need a reservation for a single room. I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I'm Rosa Puentes. Thank you, Miss Puentes. How long are you going to stay? I'm going to stay three days. Are you going to stay in a smoking or non-smoking room? Non-smoking, please. Are you going to need the shuttle service? Yes, please. I repeat one more time. Mark's Travel Agency. How can I help you? Good morning. I need a reservation for a single room. I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14th. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I'm Rosa Puentes. Thank you, Miss Puentes. How long are you going to stay? I'm going to stay three days. Are you going to stay in a smoking or non-smoking room? Non-smoking, please. Are you going to need the shuttle service? Yes, please. Questions about the vocabulary, guys? Uh, shuttle service. Okay, shuttle service. Perfect. Shuttle service is like, uh, is the service that they give you from the airport to the hotel and from the hotel to the airport. That's the shuttle service, okay? The transportation. Okay. Um, thank you. Any other question, guys? Yes, yes, teacher. Um, Non-smoking. Okay. Nowadays is not that common, to be honest. Nowadays, everybody's like uh, very healthy, right? But it used to be that you could ask in some hotels for smoking rooms where you could smoke you could have a cigarette and there were rooms where it was not available because of the in those rooms i mean because of the smell it's hard to take out of the everything and also for the sensors so that's smoking room and non-smoking 
Okay, okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, guys, let's see. Well, for the conversation, you're going to be working in groups of three. That means that you're going to be alternating, okay? Only one, one group was made out of two. That is David Armando and Robert Beltran. That's just two. The rest of the groups are three members. So groups are open. You got four minutes to practice. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Puente. How long are you going to stay? I'm going to stay three days, days. Are you going to stay in a smoking or moon smoking room? No smoking, please. Are you going to need the surely service? Yes, please. Okay. Okay. Empiece, María. Okay. ¿Quién va a comenzar? Ana María. Vamos. My travel agency, how can I help you? Good morning. I need a reservation for a single room. I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14th. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. In Rosa Puentes. Thank you, Mrs. Puentes. How you long are you going to stay? I'm going to stay three days. Are you going to stay in a smoking or non-smoking room? Non-smoking, please. Are you going to need the shower service? Yes, please. ¿Quién va primero? Yo voy. Ese me lo he explicado, el de Rosa. Y empiezo yo. Vaya. Mars Travel Agency. How can I help you? Good morning. I need a reservation for a single room. I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14th. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I'm Rosa Puentes. Thank you, Mrs. Puentes. How long are you going to stay? I'm going to stay three days. Are you going to stay in a smoking 
or non smoking room? No smoking, please. Are you going to need the rural service? Yes, please. Maya, wait a minute. Mars Travel Agency. How can I help you? ¿Con quién? ¿Conmigo o con María? Uh, María. Ah, ok. Ok. Good morning. I need a reservation for a single room. I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14. So, may I help your name, please? Of course, I'm Rosa Fuentes. Thank you, Mr. Fuentes. How long are you going to stay? I'm going to stay three days. Are you going to stay in a smoking or non-smoking room? No smoking, please. Are you going to need the surety service? Yes, please. Okay. Ana Maria. Comienza tú. Service. 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 Sí, porque no está. Marx, Travel Agency, Agency, Agency. No sé cómo se puede buscar eso porque no sé cómo se pronuncia. Agency, Agency. Agency. Marx, Travel Agency. How can I help you? Good morning. I need a safe reservation for a single room. I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14. Sure. May, may I have your name, please? Sixty seconds, sixty seconds. Okay, guys, let's see. Okay. Brenda, are you ready? Hello, teacher. 
Okay, Brenda and Jose Edwin. ¿Quién empieza? Eh, Edwin. Okay. Uh, Mark's Travel Agency, how can I help you? Good morning. I need a reservation for a single room. I am going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14th. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I am Rosa Puentes. Thank you, Miss Puentes. <coughs> How long are you going to stay? <coughs> I am going to stay three days. Are you going to stay in a smoking <coughs> or non-smoking room? No, smoking, please. Are you going to need the shower service? Yes, please. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Catherine Guadalupe and Roxana. Roxana, you ready? Hi, teacher. Yeah. Okay. So, Roxana, you start. Mark Strawberry Angels. How can I help, help you? Good morning. I need a reservation for a single room. I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14th. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I'm Rosa Puentes. Thanks, you. Miss Fuentes. How long are you going to stay? I'm going to stay three days. Are you going to stay in a, a smoking or no smoking room? No smoking, please. Are you going to need the Cheryl? Yes, please. The shuttle service, the shuttle service. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Ruth Margot and Sandra Alvarado, please. Sandra, you start. Smart Travel Agency. How can I help you? Good morning. I need a reservation for a single room. I am going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14. And sure, may I have your name, please? Of course, I am Rosa Puentes. Thank you, Miss Puentes. How long are you going to stay? I am going to stay three days. Are you going to stay in a smoking or no smoking room? No smoking, please. Are you going to need the shuttle service? Yes, please. Perfect, thank you. Carla Beatriz. En Mónica Liliana. Ok. Uh, let's see. Mónica. Mónica, okay. you start. Ok. Month start agency, agency of call. How can I, I help you? How can I <laughs> help you? Good morning. I need a reservation for a single room. I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14th. Sure. May I journey, please? Of course. I am Rosa Puentes. Thank you, Mr. Puentes. How long, How long? You are, How long you are going to a site? I'm going to a state three days. Are you going to a site in... And smoking or 
No smoking room. No smoking, please. Are you going tonight to show service? Yes, please. Perfect. The shuttle service. Shuttle service. Excellent. The well shuttle done. service. Thank you, teacher. Sonia and Karen Castillo. Okay. Okay. Uh, Sonia, you start. Okay, teacher. Mars Travel Agency. How can I how can I help you? Good morning. I need a reservation for a single room. I am going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I am Rosa Puentes. Thank you, Mr. Puentes. How long are you going to stay? I am going to stay three days. Are you going to stay in a smoking or no smoking room? No smoking, please. Are you going to need the charter service? Yes, please. Okay, perfect. Just remember, please. Miss, miss, miss. Okay. Miss. Miss Puente. Miss Puentes. Perfect. Thank, Thank you, you. Gabriela and Ana Consuelo. Uh, Ana Consuelo, you start. Mass travel agency. How can? Se me puso rosa la pantalla, teacher. Oh, don't you have it on the on the WhatsApp? I sent it. Se las envié en el grupo. Sí, ahorita lo busco. Mars Travel Agency, how can I help you? Good morning. I need a reservation for a single room. I am going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14. Who may I have your name, please? Of course, I am Rosa Puente. Thank you, Mr. Puente. How long are you going to stay? I'm going to stay three days. Are you going to stay in a smoking or no smoking room? No smoking, please. Are you going to need the food lane service? Yes, please. The shuttle, shuttle service. Thank you. Jaime Enrique and Roberto Guzman. Roberto Guzman, you start. Okay. Mark Travel Agency, how can I help you? Good morning. I need a reservation for a single room. I am going to travel to Costa Rica. On April 14. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I am Rosa Puentes. Thank you, Miss Puentes. How long are you going to stay? I'm going to stay three days. Are you going to stay in a smoking or non-smoking room? Non-smoking, please. Are you going to need the shower service? Yes, please. Perfect. Thank you. Very well done, guys. Yeah, you can. Okay. Ana Maria and Fatima Laura. Yes, teacher. Okay, Ana Maria. You st no, yeah, you start. Mark's Travel Agency. How can I help you? Good morning. I need a reservation for a single room. I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14. 
Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I'm Rosa Puentes. Thank you, Mrs. Puentes. How, how long are you going to stay? I'm going to stay three days. Are you going to stay in a smoking or non-smoking room? Non-smoking, please. Are you going to need the shower service? Yes, please. Perfect, thank you. Walter Reyes and David Armando, please. Uh, David, you start, David, please. Okay. Mark Travel Agency, how can I help you? Good morning, I need a reservation for a single room. I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14th. Sure. May I hear your name, please? Of course. I'm Rosa Fuentes. Thank you, Miss Fuentes. How long are you going to stay? I'm going to stay three days. Are you going to stay in a smoking or no smoking room? No smoking, please. Are you going to need the shoulder service? Yes, please. Perfect, thank you. And Robert Beltran and Xiomara Elizabeth. Xiomara, you start. Mark Travel Agency, um, can I hear you? Good morning. I need a reservation for a single room. I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14th. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I am Rosa Puentes. Thank you. Mr. Puentes, how long Ms. are Puentes. you going Ms. to Ms. Puentes. Ms. Puentes, how, do you, how long are you going to stay? I'm going to stay three days. Are you going to stay in a smoking or non-smoking room? Non-smoking, please. Are you going to need the children's service? Yes, please. Perfect. Thank you very much, guys. Let me repeat one more time for you. Mark's Travel Agency. How can I help you? Good morning. I need a reservation for a single room. I'm going to travel to Costa Rica on April 14th. Sure. May I have your name, please? Of course. I'm Rosa Puentes. Thank you, Ms. Puentes. How long are you going to stay? I'm going to stay three days. Are you going to stay in a smoking or non-smoking room? Non-smoking, please. Are you going to need the shuttle service? Yes, please. Okay, guys, very well done, actually. Let me get the attendance one more time. Ana Consuelo Amaya Merino. Present teacher. Ana Maria Rivas Durán. Present teacher. Brenda Angélica Díaz de Chacón. Present teacher. Karen Beatriz Castillo Sensente. Present teacher. David Armando Romero Hernández. Present teacher. Fátima Laura Mejía Meléndez. Present. Fátima Lisset Pineda Paniagua. Gabriela Margarita Vázquez Lemos. Present. Guillermo Josué Osorio Ventura. Jaime Enrique Flores Sánchez. Present teacher. Jose Edwin Valle Franco. Present teacher. 
José Roberto Ramírez Beltrán. Present. Karen Patricia Ramírez Pérez. Carla Beatriz García de la O. Present teacher. Catherine Guadalupe García Chachagua. Present. Mónica Liliana Ocotán Barahona. Present. Nelson Stanley Cardona Hernández. Roberto Antonio Guzmán Rodríguez. Present. Roxana Elizabeth Ramírez Lima. Present teacher. Ruth Margot Benítez Díaz. Present teacher. Sandra Chamilet Alvarado Aguilar. Present teacher. Sonia Guadalupe Santa María Cabrera. Present teacher. Víctor Alberto Trujillo Cruz. Walter Manuel Reyes Campos. Present teacher. Xiomara Elizabeth Ramos Escobar. Present teacher. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, guys. Let's see. Now, 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 we go back to the manual. There's a short exercise that we are going to do. And let's see. Okay, guys, look, we have all hotel services and amenities. So you need to label the pictures with the corresponding words from the box. Remember the difference also, because I'm going to ask you, not just uh, number one, okay? Number one, perhaps it's a wake up call. Fine. But I'm going to ask you, is that an amenity or a hotel service? So you got shuttle service, single room, wake up call, Wi-Fi, internet, business center, fridge in the room, safe, laundry service. So you need to label and define, is that service or amenities, okay? So you got two different activities here. You're going to label and classify. Le van a poner que es cada uno y me lo van a clasificar. Amenities or hotel services. Got it? Questions about the activity? Okay. You go back to the rooms. They are open already. Primero la imagen que ahí. Hola. La 
Eh, sería... Wake up call. No. <laughs> mm. Yes, wake up call. Wake up call, okay. Ay, está bien. Sí se pudo. No. <laughs> wake up call. Number two is laundry service. Uh -huh. Obviously. And laundry service. La segunda es laundry service. La tres. La tres sería. Rich. Rich in the room. Rich in the room. Teacher y yo solita estaba. <laughs> well, you got a lot of people here. Ya tiene mucha gente aquí. Estaba abandonada. <laughs> Yes. ¿Quién se fue? Ok, la número tres que entonces era. Fry. Fry in Fry. the room. Y la vamos a clasificar así como. Fry in the room. Sí. Sí. Fry in the room. Uy, tomen agua. <risa> Esta tos que se ha apoderado de mí. <risa> Las siete. Eh, Charles Service. Charles Service. Y la ocho es. Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi Internet. Wi-Fi Internet. Internet. En el 7 dijimos que era Charles Sabe. Entonces la 4 nos quedaría como... Centro de negocio. Porque es como, diría yo que ese logo es como de un hotel, ¿verdad? Eso nos falta. ¿verdad? Yes, exactly. Sí. Una cuarta. Business uh -huh. Center. Sí. Business Center. Eso es lo único que nos queda, ¿verdad? Sí. Entonces, ese pongamos. Uh -huh. Vale, ya lo tenemos, pero lo voy a... Yo creo que sí. ¿Cuál dijeron que era la uno? Wait. No. Vaya. Piche. Yes. Este, después de haber entendido, ¿qué íbamos a hacer después? Classify. Tell me if they are amenities or services. Amenities. Me lo van a clasificar si son amenities o services. ¿Y amenities qué vendría haciendo? ¿Qué es? I explained that. I told you that amenities are like the places, like the, the, the business center, the spa, the swimming pool. Those are amenities, the different locations, okay? Services is like a, a wake-up call, that's service. Like Wi-Fi, internet, that's service. Okay, so you need to classify. Ah, algo como que le entendí, la, la, las prestaciones que da el hotel, por, por ejemplo, puede dar el, el safe, el safe, el, el sangre room, el, 
shuttle service, uh, Wi-Fi internet. Uh, interview. Y también tiene sala de GMS. Save sería Serbia o sería Meaning. Save, save. Es un service. Sí, seguridad. No. Bueno, sí. No, safe que is uh, tiene... como caja fuerte. Some hotels, they ¿Ah? give you that option that you sí, have, sería... like if you have valuables, like jewelry or money, you put it, you store it on the safe from the hotel. Entonces, many. No, that's a service they provide. A service. Yes, that's a service they give you. Fry in the room on service. Una pregunta para Santo de Room es amenities. O es no es amenities. La only service sería amenities. No es services. O oh, sería. Es a service. Es que la amenity es el lugar. Okay. Entonces amenity sería wifi. No, eso es un service. Entonces sería business center. Business center, Amen. that's an amenity. Amen. Amen. Amenities. Sure, no. <laughs> uh, 
Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, guys, you ask for me. <laughs> eh, una, una pregunta. Yes, sure. Eh, en los cuadritos teníamos que poner este que era cada imagen, ¿va? según yes, lo que. Yes, exactly. And then classify yeah. if it's an amenity yeah. of a service. Y aparte de eso, ¿qué más íbamos a hacer? Eso, no, no, no sé si había algo más. Sí, clasificarme si eso era un servicio o una amenity. Mm. Hurry up, hurry up. Lo segundo no lo comprendí. Las amenities son las distintas localidades. Ah, ok, teacher. Entonces, sixty seconds, sixty seconds. Okay, let's see, guys. Let me share again so we can do it together. Okay, okay, okay. Number one, let's see, give me one second. Okay, I need to have this right here. Okay. Number one, tell me, uh, Ana Consuelo, what is number one? Number one is service. Eh, es la imagen siete. Okay. 
that's uh, 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 mm -hmm. number one. It's a wake up call. Oh. It's a wake oh, up. Wake, wake up, up call. call. And it and a wake up call is a service. Perfect. Service. Excellent, excellent. Number two, Ana Maria. Laundry service. Okay. A laundry service. And laundry service is exactly that, a service, right? Perfect. Number three. Uh, 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 Karen Castillo. Um, Friday in the room. Okay. Fresh. Fresh in the room. In the room. Fresh in the room. Perfect. Tell me, that's a service or an amenity? What do you think, guys? Um, yo, teacher, siempre. Yeah, tell me. Uh, business center? No, number three, a fridge in the room. That's a service or an amenity? Ah, this is in the room. Um, now, what is that? Es un servicio, un amenity. El fridge in the room. El tener un fridge in the room. That's an amenity. Eh, amenity. El tener una refrigeradora en, en el cuarto es una amenity. Okay. Now, number four. David Armando, what is number four? Uh, number four, teacher, um, business center. Okay, business center. Tell me, David, that's an amenity or a service? Um, and repeat, teacher. Is that a service or an amenity? And the service. A business center is an amenity. Okay, it's a place. Mm -hmm. It's a location. Place the amenity in lugar de reunión. Yep, it's an amenity. Oh, okay. Okay, number five. Thank you. Uh, number five. I'm just, oops. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, uh, uh. Now, Fatima Laura, number five. What is number five? Safe. Okay, safe. it's a safe. What is that? Service. Okay, perfect. It's a service. Number six. Uh, that's uh, Robert Beltran. Number six. Yes. Single room, part of the hotel room, I mean, I think. Single room, okay. Yeah. It belongs to the hotel room. Okay, perfect. A single room, that's, a, that's an amenity, no? It's part Again. of the accommodation. 
Yeah, because it's the accommodation. Okay. Okay. Okay, airport. Okay, you got here, it says airport, and you got the little bus. What's that? Oh, no. Let's see, that's for Jaime. Hello. Number seven. Yes, number seven. Yes, uh, shuttle service. Service is a service. Okay, exactly right. The name says <laughs> shuttle service is a service. Yes. Okay, and number eight. Well, number eight is Wi Fi internet, right? Oops. Wi Fi internet. Okay, and the Wi-Fi internet, that's a service. So we got wake up call, laundry service, fridge in the room, business center, safe, single room, shuttle service, Wi-Fi internet. So you see, these are different things that you can get uh, services or amenities locations that are in a hotel okay remember the wake up call is that when they call you the laundry service okay in some hotels you can ask you can request the laundry service it's an extra okay you got fridge in the room oh that's expensive everything you got on that little fridge is expensive very expensive and you got a safe, as I told you, a safe is like a, it's like a, 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 a safe is like a caja fuerte that the hotel has where you can put your valuables. So, guarda sus, las cosas valiosas. I mean, the, usually in hotels, in, in big hotels, you go to reservation and you ask for using the service of the safe. Usted pide usar el servicio del safe. That's where you put stuff like jewelry or something that you are carrying that is very expensive, algo que usted lleva que es muy expensive. You don't leave it in the room. You want it in the safe. Usted lo pone en la caja de seguridad de ellos. Okay? So that way they are responsible. De esa manera ellos son responsables. To keep it safe. Okay? And the shuttle service, as I was explaining, y el shuttle, Que era lo que le decía yo. Es este. El servicio de transporte. Okay. Any question about that vocabulary? Yes, teacher. Eh, nosotros analizamos esto y lo tomábamos como un extra quizás en, en algunos porque... No coincidimos con el eh, internet que fuera un servicio, sino que como un extra. No, but that's, that's a service they provide. Es parte de un servicio que ellos proveen. Mm -hmm. Porque usted paga, por ejemplo, por el servicio de internet. Y, ok, igual que en el de safe. Pensamos que era seguridad de las puertas, de los cuartos. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I didn't explain that. No, the safe <laughs> is the... the, 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 the pensamos que era como referencia a la seguridad Ajá, de, de puerta de cuartos así es Ajá. y el, el business center lo analizamos que en los hoteles eh, hay salas de recepciones o, o reuniones para negocios yes exactly that's eh, eh, ese no entra en servicios the thing is that it's an amenity because it's a location where everybody can go. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. yes, sometimes it's kind of a, 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 it's kind of difficult to get the, the, the that type of vocabulary because we don't we don't really use it that much, right? I mean, we don't visit hotels that that type of hotels like regularly, but it's good to know. You never know. Nunca sabemos. Okay. 
Okay, thank you, teacher. Yeah, I mean, it's like when you go to a place, you ask if you can make use of the amenities. That means that if you can make use of the different locations that they got. A service is, I am providing a service to you. I am giving you something. Sometimes a service is something that you cannot like touch. A veces un servicio es algo que es mm, intangible. No lo tocamos. Okay? That's why like Wi-Fi internet, that's a service. Okay? Uh, wake up call, that's a service. The, the laundry, that's a service they provide for you. Okay? The amenities, if they have like, if they have like a, a, a like a, a laundry room where you could go and and put your stuff okay imagine that uh, they have like a laundry in some in some uh if you go to a let's see b and b sometimes they are they are offered as b and b a veces se anuncian como b y b that's a different type of hotel. That's a hostel where you got bed and breakfast. Those are little hotels where you got a room and they give you like just the breakfast. Okay. That's why they are called bed and breakfast. You rent the room. You have like a common dining room. Like they don't, they don't uh, have many people like 10, 12 tops in those places, sometimes they can let you use the washer machine, the laundry room. In that situation where you go, you put your clothes and you wash it, that's an amenity. Okay? Because you make use of the space. In that case, it's an amenity. In big hotels, no. You call and you ask like, eh, excuse me, can I have a laundry service? And you, somebody comes to your room, they take your clothing and they wash and then they bring it back, wash and dry. You see, that's a service. I don't know if I'm clear with this. No sé si quedó claro. Okay, perfect. Yes, now, yes. now guys. Let's see, I don't know if you remember, but yesterday I told you to think about two questions that I have assigned. ¿Se recuerdan que le dije dos preguntas? Because I haven't forgotten. Okay. The questions were these. Las preguntas eran estas. Okay. Uh, let's see. The questions were, what is the most dangerous sport? I, that question I just asked a couple of you. So let's see, Fatima, Laura, what is the most dangerous sport in your opinion? The sport most dangerous is skating. Paracaidismo. Okay, skydiving. Skydiving. Perfect. What else? Oh, well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, no. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Skydiving. That's the most dangerous sport in your opinion. Now, let's see. Xiomara. Hello, Xiomara. Xiomara. Perhaps she's not available. Roxana. Roxana Ramirez. Hi, did you... Hi, Roxana. How are you? I'm fine. Okay. What is the most dangerous sport in your opinion? The most dangerous sport for me is claim, claim. climbing. Climbing. Sí. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I mean, if you fall, it's dangerous. Yeah, of course. I mean, if you tumble down the rocks, it uh, can be very dangerous. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Jose Edwin, what do you think? What's your opinion? 
What's the most dangerous sport? I think that uh, the most dangerous sport is um, the automobiles okay. or, or uh, MotoGP. GP. Okay. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, they are dangerous. Of course, they are dangerous. Just that, yeah, just that nowadays they got a lot of safety measures. And I mean, like, I have seen that the cars, they get destroyed and the guy comes out walking. Yeah. But still, they are dangerous. I mean, you go like more than 200 kilometers, it's dangerous. Let's is, see. Yeah. Is uh, a little problem, probable, uh, probably. Yeah, probably. Uh, probably. Uh, is a little probable, but uh, if uh, they have an accident, it's more dangerous. Yes, of course. Of course. No, okay. Thank you. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Carla Beatriz, tell me, what's your opinion? What's the most dangerous uh, sport, in your opinion? Um, base jumping. Base jumping? Base jumping, perdón. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I mean, those guys are crazy. <laughs> yes. Okay. Because uh, the yeah, tell jumping me, tell place. Me. Yes. Someone very high place from her place and many other things and think it is dangerous. Yeah, I mean, uh, you jump like from a few hundred meters, no cuanto cientos de metros de altura, and and you open well a hundred meters, a veces cien metros, and you open the the the, the parachute. Oh, nice word, yes. the parachute. Yo no lo practica. You open the parachute like in the last minute, in the last second. Uno tiene que abrir el paracaídas en el último segundo. That's crazy. Eso de locos. Well, you know, I would love to do bungee jump. A mí me gustaría hacer bungee jump. Mm, no. Bungee jump is where you jump with a, just tie with an elastic rope. Oh, no, yo no sirvo para las alturas. El, el, este, en estas vacaciones fui a subir al volcán de Santa Ana y casi me desmayo cuando, cuando voy para abajo. <ríe> me okay, dio. Yeah, ¿Cómo, yeah. Se llama eso? ¿Cómo se llama eso? Cuando uno se marea en un lugar estrecho y viendo para abajo. I forget Así. the name. Yeah, but that's a phobia. I forget the name. <ríe> me dio uh, fobia. <ríe> yeah, I understand you. I understand Pero you. ella quería subir el volcán. Yeah, well. That happens, that happens. Thank you, Carla. <laughs> Sandra, what about you? What do you think is the most dangerous sport? The most dangerous sport? Party jumps. I'm sorry? The most dangerous sport? Party jumps. What's that? Uh, paracaídas. Oh, parachuting, 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 yeah, yeah, well, it is dangerous if the parachute doesn't open, it's a little bit dangerous, un poquito, solo si no se abre, just that, I mean, but you got like two extra safe measures, and well, also it's dangerous when you land, también el, hay que saber caer, otherwise you can, you can break your, your ankles or something. Yeah, that is dangerous. Okay, let's see. Let's see the last one about this one. Let's see. Robert Beltran, what's the most dangerous for you? The most dangerous sport for me. We were talking about this yesterday. He said we forgot it. Yeah, but tell me. Okay. I I think the most dangerous sport in my case might be, I told you before, if it was BMX sport, because okay. I think it's so difficult to get that trick. Yeah, if you like, are in a, in like a in tough the X place, Games. 
Hola, yeah, it's, it's like uh, the skateboarding. It's, oh, yeah. It's easy to break something. Yeah, if you make a wrong movement, you are going to die uh, in the same moment. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a little bit hard. Yeah, it is. For me, let me see, guys. Thank you, Robert. For me, mm, oh, for me is diving in caves. I wouldn't do that. Diving in caves. Bucear, pero en cuevas. Underwater. I wouldn't do that. No way, Jose. I mean, uh, uh I mean, I don't like the the enclosure and underwater. Just to imagine, man. I don't even like watching videos of that. No puedo ver ni video de eso. I mean, it's like, uh. but I mean, some people like it. Let's see now. We go with the most expensive. Okay, if you remember, I was also asking you, también estaba preguntando, the second question was, what is the most expensive sport? Okay, when we refer to the most expensive is where you have to spend more money. So let's see, Robert Guzman, from your point of view, what is the most expensive sport? Uh, the sport for most expensive for me is... Uh... Uh, the Formula Uno. Okay. Because, because according to my in the my research, it's very expensive because each vehicle the cost is very much money for each uh, of the pieces pieces parts parts each, that each vehicle. Uh, use it in a special the start and uh, start la uh, pista especiales también por las pistas especiales en okay. el vehículo es, es movido o sea como diría lo transportan de manera individual algo así yeah 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 I understand you okay thank you Catherine what do you think what is the most expensive sport in your opinion. I think the most expensive sport is polo. Polo? Okay, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> because horses are needing for this sport and their car is expensive in order to have a strong horse. horse. Okay, <laughs> perfect. Strong horses. Strong horses. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's not sport for us guys, right? No es un deporte para nosotros. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the people who practice that, they got money. <laughs> you have to have money. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Perfect. Now let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm -mm. David Armando, what do you think is the most expensive sport? Hello, teacher. Um, um, yes, tell me. Tell me. Um, what say um, and the team, Catherine, because we're going to talk about Catherine. Um, Polo. And um, horse, horse race. Oh, yeah. Horses and are the, expensive. Horse race and the check and and the check on Google and the the price the horse race in the oh in yeah, the, actual, yeah actually actually price the the, the horse race uff bueno ni sé cómo decirlo pero dice que el caballo lo lo posee una compañía que cuesta 180 millones de dólares yeah I mean uh, there are some some races uh, of horses that they are very expensive like a uh, horse can cause can start by twenty five thousand thirty fifty thousand dollars i mean yes, it, they are very expensive the por las apuestas lo que ganas of course of course thank you 
Ruth, Thank what you, about please. you, Ruth? You've been very quiet today. Tell me, Ruth, what do you think is the most expensive sport? My teacher. Uh, according to what I investigate, one of the most expensive is Formula One. Oh. Because, oh. because they most stay physical, very saludable, no? healthy. healthy. Yes, healthy. And have the right right car. Yes, yes. In my opinion. Perfect. Thank you. Carla Beatriz, what's your opinion? What's the most expensive sport? Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Tell me, Carla, what's the most expensive sport in your opinion? Mm, sería horse, re horse riding, equitación. Okay, yeah, horse riding. Horse, horse riding. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you, teacher. Okay. The phrase is like this, look. It will be, sería. We use that expression a lot, sería, or podría ser. It will be. That expression, it will be, sería, or podría ser. Okay? Okay, guys, I just sent you to the group. The questions for tomorrow. Now we are going to be working like this. I'll leave you the questions today and tomorrow we go straight to the answers. Okay, so you don't have to be thinking. You got your answers ready. So for tomorrow we got two, well, three questions. How do you spend your time when you are on holiday and the weather is bad? Imagine you are holidays, vacation, and it starts raining. It comienza a llover and you have gone to a water park. You usted se ha ido a nadar, no? And it's raining and you... I don't know, one of you had that situation. Uno de ustedes tuvo esta situación, I don't know. Monica, I guess. That went to, 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 to a water park and it was raining. So, you are going to ask me, how do you do? How do you spend your time? ¿Cómo pasa el tiempo si ya se clima y usted tiene vacación? Okay. Now, the second question. What countries would you like to visit? ¿Qué países le gustaría visitar and why? Okay, that's for tomorrow. Tomorrow, the, we are going to have a little conversation about that, okay? But we are going to twist it a little bit. Pero le vamos a cambiar un poquito más. Okay, we are going to make it a conversation, but not just with me. We are going to talk, have a conversation with our classmates. So, bring the answers. Así que tráigame lista esas respuestas. It's going to make the class more dynamic if you have it ready. Nos va a ayudar a que sea más dinámico, okay? Now, guys, let me get the attendance. Ana Consuelo Amaya Merino. Present teacher. Ana María Rivas Durán. Present teacher. Brenda Angélica Díaz de Chacón. Present teacher. Karen Beatriz Castillo Sensente. Present teacher. David Armando Romero Hernández. Present teacher. Fátima Laura Mejía Meléndez. Present teacher. Fátima Lisset Pineda Paniagua. Gabriela Margarita Vázquez Lemus. Present. Guillermo Josué Osorio Ventura. Jaime Enrique Flores Sánchez. Present teacher. José Edwin Valle Franco. Present teacher. Thank you, José Edwin. Thank you, Guillermo. Eh, José Roberto Ramírez Beltrán Thank you Robert Karen Patricia Ramírez Pérez Carla Beatriz García de la O Present teacher Catherine Guadalupe García Chachagua Present Mónica Liliana Ocotán Barahona Present Nelson Stanley Cardona Hernández Roberto Antonio Guzmán Rodríguez. Present. Roxana Elizabeth 
Ramírez Lima. Present teacher. Ruth Margot Benítez Díaz. Present teacher. Sandra Chamilet Alvarado Aguilar. Present teacher. Sonia Guadalupe Santa María Cabrera. Present teacher. Víctor Alberto Trujillo Cruz. Walter Manuel Reyes Campos. Present teacher. Xiomara Elizabeth Ramos Escobar. Present. Thank you. Hey guys, really appreciate it. Very good class. Uh, good participation. Excellent. See you tomorrow. Don't forget the, the questions and don't forget to work in the platform, please. We got to finish that. Bye bye. Have a good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Eat you. Eat you. See you. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Uh -huh. Good night. Good night, Monica. Good night, teacher. Um, good night, Catherine. ¿Por qué me No comments. I haven't said nothing. <laughs> Siento night, que teacher. me quiere decir algo. No, no, nothing. Good night, Guillermo. Hey, Walter, give me a second. ¿No? Give me a second, please. Okay. Good night, teacher. Good night, good night. Okay, let's see, let's see. Bye, Karen, take care. Perfect. Walter, can you text me directly in the in the WhatsApp app? Sí, Because I want to I want to send you something. Quiero enviarle algo. Let's see, let's see, Walter, Walter. Ah. Give me one second. Give me one second, give me one second. No sé por qué no me aparece. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ok, we're going to try in a different way. Dime un segundo que vamos a probar de una manera distinta. No tengo el número 7706. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yeah, got it, got it, got it, got it. Remember, this is recorded. Recuérdese que esto queda grabado. Okay. There you go. Got it? Yeah. Okay. If you open that link, You're working on a computer, right? Did you open it? Ya lo abrió? No, it's out. Okay. If you open it, it says uh, general listening quizzes. Okay. Yes. You got a list. Tiene una lista. A day at school, a fun day. The first one, a day at school, don't do it. Ese no lo haga. That's, it's complex. Un poquito complicadito. Go to the second one, a fun day. Dele click en el segundo. I'm sorry? A fun day. Yep. Uh, 
this is a passive charge, a listen, here we found the rings. Okay. Like to start, to hold start. on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You are supposed to have, se supone que usted debe tener uh, something like this, look. ¿Le pareció un estado así? Sí, tengo un estado que comienza con a, a, a day at school. Ok, go to, uh, go to the second one. Vayas al segundo. A uh, fun day. Yep. O más abajo. A fun day. Fun day. Ok, mm -hmm. if you click on it, you have yeah, an you exercise. Click. Okay. General list please. Yeah, a found day, found family day. recreation. Scroll down. Baje un poquito. You got idioms and then you got listening exercise. Okay. Now, if you click on play, you are going to listen to a conversation. Si usted le da play, va a escuchar una conversación. After you listen to the conversation, mm -hmm. you have a question. Tiene una pregunta and three options. Okay. Like the young girl wants to go to, and if you click uh, to the park, for example, that's a wrong answer. Mm. Le dice que nice try. Y le da la X, que está mala, ¿no? But it gives you why it's wrong. Y le cuenta por qué está mala. Okay, so you listen and you do the exercise. After you finish, if you go all the way down, si sigue bajando, after the questions, you got Vocabulary mm -hmm. practice. You got one exercise. Ahí mm -hmm. le parece un ejercicio. Gap fill exercise. Right? Eh, Again, escucha. you listen. Nuevamente, usted escucha. Y mm -hmm. rellena el espacio. Okay? okay? Because you have to fill with the word that is missing. Now, abajo le parece great answers. Eh, calificar. And when you finish, you can go to go to listening activity. Lo regresa al mismo ejercicio. Now, up there, usted tiene tres cuadros, uno gris, uno azul, uno rojito. En el gris dice, see listening script. In that one, you are going to... Espérame, eh, tengo tres cuadritos. Usted dice, ver guión de escucha, volver a cuestionar fáciles, cuestionarios fáciles. Y juego de idioma. No, you go to back to listening activity. Listening activity. Ah, tengo el ejercicio de escucha. Ok. Go to back to listening activity. Se va a S. Cuando está en S, tiene mm -hmm. tres cuadros arriba. Tiene C listening script, back to easy quizzes y language games. ¿Sí? Entonces se va al primero. Sí, listening script. Pero, pero yo está abriendo. Le di. Esto sería para mejorar mi. Ok. What you're going to do there, there is this. Lo que va a hacer usted es esto. Este mm -hmm. tipo de ejercicio le va a ayudar para mejorar escucha. Al principio lo va a sentir un poquito complejo. That's mm -hmm. normal. But it's going to help you to improve your listening. Te va a ayudar a mejorar su listening. Mm -hmm. And also your reading. También la lectura. And the comprehension. Y la lectura comprensiva. Ok. Mm -hmm. That's going to give you more vocabulary. Eso le va a dar más vocabulario. So that way when you are speaking... You are going to have even more words to communicate because you got a good command of the language. Usted comprende bastante. But sometimes when you are speaking, I think that sometimes you are... Usted se me detiene un segundito pensando a veces la palabra. Uh -huh. Right? It's because it's okay. normal. You don't have that much vocabulary. It's normal. No tenemos tanto vocabulario. Okay? But through these exercises, you are going to improve in that area. A través de estos ejercicios le va a ayudar a que mejore. And you give the, the jump to the next step. Y va a saltar al siguiente nivel. ¿Ok? 
So try them on, pruébelos, and you tell me how do you feel it. Y me cuenta cómo le va. Okay, le agradezco mucho. No, no, my pleasure. Have a good night, take care. Okay, gracias, chef. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Well, that was it for tonight. Bye-bye.